That was a hell of a show, my friend. Watchers collapse in the street as we speak. And the foundry. Well, it won't stain this beautiful city with its abominations. Not anymore. But it's not over. So long as a single parasitic Gondian remains, Baldur's Gate is under threat. Enough, Walbrin. Gortash enslaved us, forced us to build his steel watches, but no more. Take the city, let the Iron Hands reign supreme. I just wish to go home and hold my daughter. Please. <laughs> if a Gondian told me the sky was blue, I'd look outside and check. You Gondians will lie, scheme, and torment this city until your dying breaths. Let's end this! Walbrin, enough! I won't watch as you poison your soul and the brilliant future that remains to the Iron Hand gnomes. I thought the Iron Hand gnomes had corrupted you, Walbrin. Now, I wonder if it wasn't the other way around. Kill the Gondians, and you kill all we love. Collaboration, challenge, solving problems with the power of reason, creativity, and invention. I still want to believe you're better than that, Wolbrin. But even I am having my doubts. I say, I say you're right. They deserve a leader who will encourage them to create, not destroy. They deserve someone like me. I can't save you from yourself, Wolprin. It hurts terribly, but I can't. Toss your values in the bin if you want, but don't throw out the iron hands with them. This is ridiculous. Iron Hands, kill this man. How dare you? Cowards! The Gondians recognize Barkus Root as leader of the Iron Hand Gnomes and look forward to ushering in a new peace between our factions. It is with a heavy heart that I remove Walbrin Bongle from our ranks. You have until first light to leave the city. Walbrin. I expect treachery from all sides, but you, little Barkus, the boy who followed me from the Underdark, who clung to me like moss to stone, when we next meet, my hammer will cleave your skull in two, and that is a promise.